Howdy everybody, hey, this is Brian, Indiana Creek Gold Prospecting Pay Dirt. We're back, uh, well yes, part two of our B Greeny Gold Premium Pay Dirt mini series. Uh, I got it all classified down as y'all seen that first video. So I'm getting ready to go through some of it and when I fill this can up, I don't know if this will show up on here or not. But when I filled the pan up with water, it, uh, I've seen there's gold like <laughs> floating around all over the place. So, uh, I don't know what dirt I did. It's probably a culmination of several. But, yeah. I don't know. Good way to start. But, uh, here we go. Like I said, Big Greenies, Pay Dirt, uh, gonna get it set up got my snuffer bottle cut tip I was complaining about this thing Garrett gold guzzler here a while back and somebody I think it might have been big greeny suggested I cut an angle on tip works much better now so uh, yeah let's get to it Zoom in just a little bit here uh, what I have here is uh, minus quarter plus eighth. So I don't think there's anything in here, but we will definitely see. Yeah. Put a different jacket on. I've been dipping my. Uh, Final shirt here in the water. Just as I suspected, I hadn't seen anything in there, but I did see some gold in here. So, uh, if I can zoom this in. Now, right there. Alright. Let's get back to it here. Get phone slash camera adjusted again here. Uh, like I said you can find this dirt over www.crossupondpaydirt.com He's got the one gram bag over there. I don't remember what it cost. I, I actually see, got a little bit of floaties in here. Uh, I actually bought this off the website. So, y'all go over there and uh, get you a bag of it. I said you will not be disappointed. I think I have uh, a few bags left on there from this last batch of pay dirt. I think I've got a couple of uh, half gram bags and maybe some pro painter bags over there still. Maybe on the pro painters. I don't know if uh, they're still on the website or not. Uh, but yeah. I will have more dirt on there here in the next week or so, getting ready to get another batch put together. But yeah, uh, B Greeny's been there. I, they're across the Palm Pater pretty much since the beginning. So uh, me and him are the across the Palm Pater OG for sure. Vendetta's on there now. He's got like, several different options. Like his dirt, and they're always a good time. Of course, Heidi and Conan's got their black sands bag over there, which I've got some of that on the way. I'm really excited about that. So yeah, go over to Cross Pond, 
paydirt.com and check it out. You will definitely find something you like. <laughs> this is just awesome. There's a lots of gold right here. Hopefully this is showing up. I can't where my uh, phone slash camera's at right now. It's got a glare on it and I cannot see crap looking through it unless I'm behind it. Blocking the sun, but uh y'all see that there, I gotta get some shade I'm gonna get a little better view that is a pile of gold and those are big chunky pieces too alright alright now my fingers are wet and my I'm gonna do what I needed to do all right, love it. Awesome way to start. A bunch of crap falling down in there. The thing I don't like I, the slip on these pans come in handy a lot, but uh, sort of makes it hard with big gold to flip this stuff out of your pan without dumping the gold out, and I do that a lot anyway. So. too soon about that Garrett Gessler working better these are pretty big pieces awesome great start great start great start be green there's a one little speck Gold there, I'd say example gold. Almost a little wire looking piece. It'd be cool to look under with my new uh, digital microscope that uh, King Queen Stacking hooked me up with. Uh, I'm still waiting on my camera and uh, gonna get the PC fired up and the laptop and start doing some editing and all so yeah uh, got this right here left to go through I am going yeah, so I'm going to save some of this through the gutter sleeves tomorrow so here's what we got here and I, I think this is a pound of material I think that's what the bag says on it See weight one pound. I said and one gram guaranteed. So you've got some organics. I mean he goes out and gets this stuff. So this is uh what I call real pay dirt. I didn't get my cordless out here so I could use my magic bit over there but uh, I will save it for tomorrow and show you a little trick uh, y'all can use with your finishing sluices and even down on the river or the creek or what have you uh, so I'll show you a little trick that you could use these Magic bit for the Magic Bit Max would work really good. 
So to separate your black sands right out of your sluice as it's running. So I've been doing a little experimenting and uh, yeah, it does some awesome things. Must be some good dirt to do that with. Yeah. That's that patience thing. I usually don't put this much material in there at a time. And this is really heavy stuff, so I know there's going to be some, there's a lot of garnet sands in here. And black sands, I don't want to be washing gold out that's not wanting to sink through that stuff. This is uh, some Pacific Northwest dirt here. Greenies channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Uh, he's got some content over there. I think he'll maybe start putting out some more. I hope. But he's got a video over there now. He's out uh, scoping some locations out. I think he's getting ready to go to work on some dirt in a creek. I see. So. Or they might call it a stream or even a creek out there. So it just feels weird for me to say creek. Right, again, redneck twang, I guess. I do call, and it's a tributary of uh, my creek here. Uh, Sugar Creek. Well, this is a tributary of it. It's Sugar Creek. It's not too awful far downstream from me. I'm actually going to do some uh, prospecting over there on Sugar Creek. It's up the road about a couple minutes from me, but I've seen people down there dredging several times. It's real fast running creek and uh, a lot of it's down to bedrock. There's a lot of rock in there. But in several places it's down to bedrock. A lot of cracks. Speaking of cracks, I've got a... I can't wait to get it. I need to get uh, my part of the trade sent to him. Old Mike over at m, &M Prospecting is uh, hooking me up with a backpack size uh, hand suction dredge, which I need greatly. Uh, I've got some bedrock down here that's got cracks that's shoot six inches deep ish, plus or minus in places. And it's just everywhere on a solid when the water's down the exposed slab of bedrock now, I've tried messing with it and I, I've got enough out of there that I've found a few little flakes you know specks here and there but I haven't been able to get I, I just quit messing with it because I was basically wasting my time So, uh, yeah, that will change that greatly. And look at that. Starting to shine through. And this is it's full of, you can tell, black sands. But I think... I don't know there's magnetics in there, but a lot of it I can tell looking at it from the shiny is uh, garnet sands. Let's get gold up there. Let's 
stick into the side of my pan. Go ahead and get that out of there. It's a little fine flower gold that uh, I would more than venture to say is, is natural gold. I said, and I can't really tell what y'all are seeing. So I'm hoping for the best here. Wow, I really wish that I had my cordless out here. I'm not mad too bad. Y'all know me and uh, have followed my channel and heard me complain about dealing with the black sands. So, you know, I, it's a whole patience thing. It's not that I can't do it, it's that I struggle maintaining. And there's a lot of little fine gold. But so far, I haven't seen any that I've washed out of there yet. I said, and everybody does this differently. I don't think there's any really right way. Uh, I'm sure there's better ways than what I do. But uh, just practice. Y'all that are new to it, just practice. Dump gold in some uh, your leftovers and do it again and again and again. See, I almost blew some gold down there. Almost. I'm being mighty proud of myself here. Oh yeah, I'm like killing it. Look at that. Yay, Brian. Awesome sauce. And then again, this is B Greeny dirt. So uh, I expected it to not be super easy. But I also knew that there would be a ton of gold. Look at the shiny, that sun hitting it, that is pretty. So I've got that, like I said, I'm going to play with the gutter sluice, either this afternoon or tomorrow, and uh, make it shine. So yeah, I'll be back uh, soon. We'll finish up this awesome big greeny pay dirt. Thank you all.